Hello, my name is Bill. I'm the pastor at Freedom's Lutheran Church in Gibsonville, North Carolina. Thank you for joining me for this moment of devotion. I got up this morning and I was saying thank you to Jesus. Just thank you for this and thank you for that. And I was thinking to myself, thankfulness is such a blessing. Now, now how did you learn thankfulness? How did you learn to it? How did you learn to say thank you? I think most of us have parents or had parents who kind of hovered over us in those situations when somebody was giving us something. And if we didn't say it right away, what was the first words out of your parents' mouth? Right. Now say thank you. Yes. And sometimes, you know, it, it, would, it would get kind of, you know, frustrating for me as a kid when I'm waiting for to say thank you and they give me the gift. And even before I have a chance to say thank you, my mom or my dad would say, now, what do you say? <laughs> oh, well. And you go and you say thankful, thank you, but you did it more from a sense of duty because your parents told you to. They beat you to the punch. They didn't give you a chance. I don't think my parents knew, and maybe your parents didn't know, that what they were really doing was giving us the secret, the key to a happy and abundant life. Thankfulness does that. You see, thankfulness, when we crowd our minds with saying thank you, thank you pushes out the negative. When we say thank you out loud, repeating it in our minds, however it might come, when we are truly thankful for what we have and we keep that, boom, at the center of our attention, it crowds out the bad thoughts, it crowds out the depressing thoughts, it crowds out the anxiety. When we say thank you, it lifts us up, it lifts up our spirits. It can even lift our, our spirits all the way up into the presence of our Lord. Thank you, thankfulness, being grateful, true appreciation does so much for us because it also then focuses our mind on heart, our mind and our heart, not on what we don't have, but what we do have. A thankfulness can make it so that our hearts become softer and we are more compassionate to the people around us. It's in a spirit of thankfulness that generosity rises. So thankfulness, True thankfulness is a key, a, a secret to living an abundant kind of life, a generous kind of life, a life just like Jesus. And Lord, 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 if we combine our thankfulness with thanking Jesus for the moment and, and what he is doing in the moment that we're in, even if that moment has some negative consequences in our lives, Ooh, he comes through. He, 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 he reminds us of what we do have. And in the midst of his truly being present with us, he lifts our spirits. It makes it so that, so that you and I then can become a conduit. Thankfulness links us to our Lord in a way that invites his spirit which is like a flame to be fanned into a fire, which burns out into the world in love and in good deeds. Now, so what's the challenge then for today? Well, the challenge for today is simple. All I want you to do is do what I'm going to do. And that's every moment that I'm tempted to fill the gap by looking at my phone, by sneaking a peek on Facebook or checking my email one more time, even though I know my inbox is empty. Every time I'm tempted to do that instead, let's just say thank you to Jesus. Let's just invite the, the, the presence of the Lord to become front and center in our lives and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for my job. Thank you, Jesus, for my coworkers. Thank you, Jesus, that I'm getting that project done with excellence. Thank you, Jesus, for my retirement. Thank you, Jesus, for the significant others in my life. Thank you, Jesus, for my cats and for my dogs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You get the picture. Fill your day today with thankfulness and then, and then, text me or message me 
email me, give me a call if you want to, but let me know what that time spent in thankfulness has done in your mind, in your heart, and in your life. Thank you for so much for spending this moment of devotion with me. I do not take you for granted. I certainly don't. Uh, if you liked this video, uh, please share it with your friends. You can go to freedens.church, F-R-I-E-D-E-N-S, to see this video again, to, to be able to, to look at other videos there in the past. You can also hit the give button if you desire to make a donation to our ministry and toward the mission of our church. Again, thank you so much for your time, and I pray, I truly do pray, that your day is abundantly blessed.